Hello. If you're joining us for the very first time this week, welcome to the Canting Club. This week's wine is an Albariño from Spain. It's from Galicia, the northwestern corner of Spain, tucked in between the northern border of Portugal and the Bay of Biscay. This one is from the region called Rias Baixas, which is right on the Atlantic coast. Albariño from Rias Baixas has a reputation as Spain's best white wine. So let's see if this lives up to that billing. It's a lovely greeny gold colour. That depth of colour will be due partly to Albariño's thick skins, all the colours in the skin, but also due to skin contact, which this wine will have had after pressing and before fermentation, to extract all the f aroma molecules and compounds from those skins, because this is a variety noted for its fragrance. And what a fragrance! This has a really pronounced and exotic nose of elderflowers, almond paste, and even candied pineapple. Terrific! Mm. Rich flavours too. So much so that although this is a dry wine, it tastes almost off dry, which is an Albariño characteristic. It's mouth filling. The flavours are of pink grapefruit and white peach. Although this wine is perhaps not much more than medium bodied, that still counts as heavyweight for this grape variety. And those lovely rich flavours lead on into a long tingling finish, which is where the acidity makes itself noticed. That's the tingling. Um, the, Albariño is known to have razor sharp acidity. This one is probably not as sharp as most. This is an exotically ripe and full flavoured example from what was a particularly warm year, 2012. Albariño is the trademark grape of the Rias Baixas, accounting for more than 90% of the vineyard area. The Rias Baixas look more like the west coast of Ireland than they do the, like the rest of Spain. There's these verdant, heavily forested hillsides rising out of this deeply indented, craggy coastline. It rains a lot here, and when it's not raining, the vineyards are often shrouded in mist. This is rather bad news for the vines, and very good news for vine diseases like rot and mildew. To counteract this, the vines here are trained up high on pergolas at head height to get the grapes as far off the damp ground as possible and exposed to drying sea breezes. Even then, that wouldn't work unless this grape was so obliging. It's got very tiny berries with thick skins, like natural raincoats, and it forms loose clusters with plenty of room for air to circulate, so it's naturally rot resistant. It also ripens early and easily with a tendency to high sugar levels which counteracts the normal tendency in this cool and wet climate for grapes to plump up with water and be dilute and hard to ripen. The consequence is that most Albariños come in at 12%. It's perfectly adapted to this region and this climate. This one is unusually strong at 12.5% due to that hot summer of 2012, which produced a very small crop of concentrated grapes. So small, in fact, that it ran out almost as soon as we bought our consignment we only have a handful of bottles left after filling the pouches, so if you buy some of this, you'll probably get the 2014 vintage. I've tasted that too, and it's lovely. It's very much the same wine, but perhaps not quite so exotically rich, but with crisper acidity and more of the salty minerality that this seaside wine is particularly noted for. You wouldn't be missing out. Cheers.